If you want some FIFA 23 coins, please check out MMOXP.com. Their link is down in the description. They're fast, cheap, and reliable. And if you use code REMA, you can get yourself a 5% discount. So what's up, guys? My name's Ash, and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, guys, we've got some tactics for the 433 second variation. These are very good after the patch, so I hope you guys do enjoy them. Just before we get into the video, though, guys, I would very much appreciate it if you could drop this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one as that really does help me out but with all that aside guys let's get right into today's video okay guys so with the custom tactics on the defensive style as always i suggest balance this is because you are able to press when you want to press and you are able to drop back a little bit when you want to do so it gives you more control in the defense which i think is very important to becoming a consistent player some people like using the pressure tactics i'm not a big fan of them i do suggest using balanced now for defensive width because a lot of people like to play narrow in this game i do suggest a more narrow width so we have this on 42 because if you look at the diagram you can see we do defend in a very nice narrow shape but if somebody does try and go down the wing we have the coverage there to get that uh, ball as well if we play too narrow sometimes people can just play down the wing very easily so having it on about 42 means you defend primarily very narrow but you also are able to cover the wings also now for defensive depth after the update I think it's important to lower that depth quite a bit so I have it on 48 this is just to stop those through balls because as you guys know explosive control players and that are very very good now uh, and those through balls are very good also so it's important to lower that depth because it's pretty much the only way to stop uh, those over the top through balls unless you have like the best meta defenders like Lucio for example in which you probably could up your depth if you want to but if you don't have those players I do suggest lowering that depth because it's the only way to prevent these through balls now for build up play in this formation I like balanced on some formations I do use fast build up but with this 4-3-3 I think it's better to have balance because sometimes with fast build up your players can like run out of shape if that makes sense you know it doesn't really play to the formation so I think balance gives you the best control when you are building up the play because it seems to keep your players in position a bit better opposed to them just being a bit more free form so I do suggest using balance uh, for chance creation guys as always I do suggest direct passing the reason for this is because if you look at the uh, diagram in the bottom right hand corner of the screen you can see you get the best movement out of your players with direct passing if we look at something like balance you'll see the white dots don't move around too much they do not move in a dynamic motion to create chances uh, but as you can see with direct passing they do actively try to penetrate the defensive line so I do suggest direct passing now for attacking width I like to have this on 48 because it is a wider formation so when we are attacking we do want to utilize the formation to its strength so we do have the width a little bit higher the reason it still seems quite low is is because you still want to play a little bit more narrow in this game you don't want to play too wide because it can be difficult to connect some of the plays together so having it on 48 means you do play a bit wider than a lot of people but it's still not too wide to the point you find it difficult to actually uh, use the formation if that makes sense now for players in box I like to have this on six because I do like to commit a lot of men into the box but at the same time I don't like getting counter-attacked so having this on six allows me to get players into the box but also also prevents the counter attacks that might happen now for corners and free kicks this is down to preference but I suggest having this on about two because you do get players into the box to score those chances but you also don't overcommit and leave yourself vulnerable to counter attacks but if you want to up this or lower this even more that is completely up to you now we've spoken about the custom tactics let's get into the players you want to use so for the players you want to use guys in this formation you have a lot of freedom to the types of players as you want to use but there are some positions which are important you do get right so with this striker you can pretty much use whoever you want but I suggest a player that can do a bit of everything I'm using Robbie Keane at the moment he's got a good weak foot so he can shoot on either foot he's got good pace good shooting good dribbling good physical um, so yeah he's got a bit of everything I do suggest a player which can do a bit of everything but if you want to use let's say a taller striker which can you know be very good at winning headers from crosses or let's say you want to use a more explosive 
smaller player, that's absolutely fine. But I like to go for a balance because we are compensating for only having one striker opposed to two in this formation. Now for your wingers, these are down to preference, but I suggest quicker players, players that are technical, players that are good on the ball, players that have good passing ability and players that can also shoot as well. You want these players to be able to do a bit of everything. You want them to be like those natural wingers. So we are using Leao and Chiesa uh, in these positions. The work rates aren't too important because they are wingers, but if you can go for a high attacking work rate, that is very, very good, but it's down to preference. Now for your three uh, midfielders, the right center mid needs to be a more box to box player. So I'm using Park Ji Sung. This is a player that is going to transition from the defense up to the attack with the ball. Uh, when we lose the ball, he's going to run back to defend. He needs to be able to do a bit of everything. So Park Ji Sung has very balanced stats. He has pretty much over 80 in everything, I think. So he is very, very good. You do need a player that can do it all. If you're struggling for a player to use, Renato Sanchez, although he is very cheap, he is very, very good in this role. So make sure you're going for like a box-to-box -box player in this position. For your CDM, you need a more stay-back player. So I've got Patrick Vieira. It's important this player has those good defensive stats because that is their sole purpose. You know, they need to defend. Vieira has the best defensive stats uh, that I need in this game. Um, the only thing that I'm lacking on this version of Vieira is the fact that he is a medium, medium player. In this position, it's preferable to have a medium high because you want them to primarily defend. And I think I forgot to mention with this right center mid, it's preferable that they have a high, high work rate because it plays to what we want them to do as they will attack and defend so high high here and medium high here if if you can. Now for your left centre mid I use a more attacking player so we are using Phil Foden but there is one key important thing that you need to know. I suggest using an attacking player which does have a high high work rate. So for example Bernardo Silva is another one of those players it's important because these players although they're very attacking they need to transition back to defend correctly in the formation. If they don't do that you'll find yourself coming unstuck a lot of the time so it's good to have an attacking player in this position for what you'll see in the instructions but it's also important that they have that high high work rate to really fit the position that you're trying to use them in now for your left back and right back this is down to preference i'm using one more attacking fullback one that is better on the ball and one more defensive fullback this is just for balance in the team it works really well for me but again if you want to use you know two defensive fullbacks that's absolutely fine if you want to use more offensive fullbacks that is also fine your two center backs just need to be as meta as possible at the moment I'm just using Varane and Van Dijk but again if you've got better than that that is really good and the keeper I'm just using Chesney for chemistry but now we've looked at the players you want to use let's look at the player instructions so as far as player instructions go, mine are pretty basic for this formation, but I'm going to talk you guys through them now so you understand how this formation works in game. So on the striker, we just have stay central. This is because we don't need him to drift off to the wings because we only need him to be in the middle. We've already got two wingers covering those positions. So it's important that this player stays in the middle in order to ensure that he is always there. You know, if we don't have him on stay central, sometimes he won't be in the correct positions that we need a striker to be. We don't change anything else because this formation actually benefits when you don't put too much restriction on your players the only restriction we've put is that we don't want this player drifting off to the wings uh, you know having mixed attack and basic defensive support gives a nice balanced movement out of your player which is very important in this formation now for your two wingers honestly I just leave them alone because I don't think you need to do anything to them I think they're very good when you let them do a bit of everything because I like to play a bit of a balanced style not having my wingers to have any like instructions actually works works very well you know we do want them to support on the defense a little bit we don't want them to be completely defensive to the point we put come back on defense we don't just want them to stay on the wings all the time because sometimes we do want them to run into the box let's say we don't always want them to get into the box for cross sometimes we do so you know having a balance on your two wingers actually works very well in this formation and this is why I suggested using players that are able to do a bit of everything because they will actually be able to do everything in this formation now for your right centre mid I just suggest cover centre because we don't want him to stay back while attacking because like I said this is a more box to box player this is why the high high work rate is very important in this position because he is going to attack and when we lose the ball if we do lose the ball we need him to have that work rate to transition back when we are defending so the high high work rate works very well with the balanced attack instruction cover centre is important because we don't need him to cover the wings we've already got full backs and wingers for that we do need him to cover the centre 
central area because that is where a lot of people like to play. So that is all we have on the right centre mid. Now for your CDM, like I said, this is a more defensive player that stays back. So we have him on stay back while attacking and cover centre. This is because we don't need him to attack as his sole purpose is to defend. So stay back while attacking works. And like Park Ji Sung, we need him to cover the central area. So we have him on cover centre. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Now for your left centre mid, the player which is a more attacking minded player. So like you can see, I'm using Phil Foden. We have get forward because again, he's almost like another attacker to give us more support. Uh, and we have cover center for when he is defending. So this works very well because like I said, Foden has a high, high work rate. So he's able to contribute a lot to the attack with his high attacking stats. And when we do lose the ball, because he has a high defensive work rate, he is also able to transition back pretty quickly with minimal consequences. So get forward on the more attacking center mid is great and cover center obviously now just like for your fullbacks i suggest stay back while attacking on both the reason being is we don't really need extra width in this formation because we've already got the wingers so i think it's better to keep them on stay back while attacking because they're not really going to be able to add too much to the formation right off the bat so yeah i suggest stay back while attacking on both of your fullbacks for now but let's say you are losing and you do need a goal you could flick both of them to balance but i think it's important to make sure the defense is as stable as possible especially since we've already got Park Ji Sung and Foden contributing to the attack as well we don't just want three players back in the middle because it would be way too open for your opponent so stay back while attacking on your fullbacks is very important to keep the defensive shape but yeah they are my custom tactics and player instructions for the 4-3-3 second variation if you guys have enjoyed I'd very much appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one and don't forget to turn on notifications so you are notified when a video is posted and with all that aside guys hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i will catch you all later peace